Come on, that like no one else is in the room. I love tell you. me how much you love me. Oh, I'll tell you. I yeah. thought you were talking about that. No, oh, forget right. that. Tell me. I love you, my darling, with all my heart. I love my wife and my child so much because this is what I desired for years. And this is what God blessed me with, beautiful wife and beautiful child. Jesus give me a hope, Jesus give me a life, what I live in today. The Jesus, I would have been a dead man. The way I was going, I was a dead man in a couple of months. Hey, hey, sing it. Jesus bless me, yes, Jesus me. It's really scary for me because my life has been in chaos all my teenage and adult life. And... The only time that I really got hope and stability again were when Reza came into my life. So the thought of him being ripped away from me just shatters me because what will happen to me? What about my daughter? You know, so it's it's horrible and it's a big heavy weight on our shoulders. It was a very hard decision for me to make because I grown up as a Muslim. So the, the 21 years being in an Islamic country and mother and father is Muslim and grown up practicing Muslim. So Islam, it was a part of me. So it was frightened me when I wanted to accept Christianity and leave Islam because I thought, what happens? If I leave, and why should I leave? Because this is what my parents taught me. So why they lie to me? So these things I was I I fighting with. I was trying to go to mosque a couple of times. I got stopped at door. They didn't let me in. They said, why you come here? I said, I come to pray. Oh, no, 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 you can't come here because of my how I looked and they in their mind therefore might be wrong things but they didn't let me in but but other than that I used to have a Christian people who used to come reach out to us and they used to invite us or oh, come to our Sunday service so I used to go to the Sunday service and I used to get invited and go see them and they used to be, be loving and everything you know so that the point where I had, I had thinking, I had, he had me thinking. We first, before we get to church, we thought we need to be clean because I had that mindset of Islamic view of the church, you know, that they're like, somewhere you go pray to God. So we were trying to get clean, sort ourselves out, and then be able to go get our help. That's what we had in the and we were failing. We were failing and we were getting very down and upset and it was a very bad cycle what we went through. So that's where I stick my head out and start going to church and getting the things what I thought is necessary for that time. We're going to go to the place where it used to be my area where we, me and my missus, used to hang around as a drug taking people. I'd say that God started working on Reza before me, but I'd also say that God brought us to a point together where we really saw that we needed to change. Um, Reza had told me he believed in it and that. Um, it was the truth, and so he was a Christian before me in that respect. But God had a plan for us both together, and that's when the strength came to change. Our humble abode, baby. Yeah. <laughs> that was our living room, and this is our bedroom. Yeah, this is the bedroom. <laughs> this is where we used to. <laughs> and we used to climb and come in and sleep in there. The, the, the old doors, they were shut. 
So we used to sleep in one of these, but it was on the corner of this, this yard. And praise God today, I praise Jesus. Today I'm standing here free of drugs, and I got my wife, my children, and best of all, I got a church family, and today they're all happy seeing me where I am today, and the glory to Lord Jesus. Oh yeah, yeah, I really worry about him because it's not just that we would be separated, it, it reaches out to people in Iran. He speaks to people in Iran and he's had people messaging back saying, what are you doing? You'd never be able to return. And so it's well known that he's a Christian, but that's why God saved him. So I do worry about him because I believe on return to Iran, it would be instantly taken and he'd be killed. This is my beloved Dorothy and this is my brother Mark. And these people, what I was telling you, they was on road to coming and picking us up every week, on <laughs> bringing us to church, and you know, so it's a yeah, it's a great family, church family we got in Christ here, you know. Yeah, I've known Reza for a good maybe five or six years. Seen a, an amazing change in his character um, since he became a Christian, since he got to know Jesus, and he's just a wonderful character. He's a great friend. Um, loves Jesus. You can just see Jesus in him uh, and you can see him when he shares Jesus. He's really concerned that other people come to know Jesus. We love him. What makes me a Christian? I know who Jesus is because he's my saviour and he can be your saviour. This faith is not a religion, it's a faith between you and Lord Jesus and the Father in heaven.